Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me today. They're trying to draw a map, street map of their like downtown. And downtowns might be easier because the lines would be straight. But so I just Googled, I got a Google map off the internet, just typed in, and it came up with my hometown. So we're going to, I've already drawn some of the streets in with hairlines, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Get your two point line. And just draw a line from there to there. Now get your shape tool and select both those and turn them into a curve. Now here's the key. Put your note about right there and bring it down. We'll right click and turn it. Well, let's add another node. I can't hardly really see that one. Let's turn it into a cusp. The cusp is going to let you rotate one side of the handle at a time and will not change the other direction as you can see there. So we can move this down. Let's add a node right there by I'm double clicking my left mouse button. I'm going to turn it into a cusp. I'm going to bring this up and for the video I'm going to I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because you get the idea. So we've got our roads drawn and keep in mind that this is your map. Nobody's going to drive off of it. Nobody's going to, you know, say it's not perfect. As long as you get it pretty close, and that's good enough for me. Now our map I brought in is almost nine inches. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 10. I'm going to get the map out of the way by hitting my right arrow key. I'm going to take these roads. And the only thing you really need to make sure is that all the roads are touching and then hit the weld tool to weld them together. Go up to effects contour and I'm going to contour this 0 0.04 doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to go up to a range. I'm going to break the contour apart. I'm going to try to grab just the black and I'm going to arrow key over one time the same amount that we did the other. You don't want to get rid of these yet. So you can just keep them off the page. But let's look here. That looks pretty cool. And you could continue this road and you know stop and start where you want to start and stop. Now I draw everything in hairline and these are hairlines. So you need to change them off of hairline so they're in gray. So we're going to go point two just so you can see it. But this is one of the most important things is to scale to object. Make sure that is checked. Because later on, if you group all this with control G and you make this map twice as big, it's not going to make the lines twice as thick or vice versa. That's pretty cool. Now I could have made them a little bit thinner. And as in anything, you could take your smart fill tool and fill them in with black so they didn't gray. If that's what you're wanting, you could actually leave them like this, maybe make them a little bit thicker and add symbols in them. You could add street names in them. You know, real, it'd be real tiny, depending on how big your map's going to be. But anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.